the uh, early extubation of the extreme premature babies is a no no because the atelectotrauma the circulatory change is the higher risk of ivh everything becomes so difficult and uh, i totally agree with professor klein from iowa who mentions about not extubating them like as long as possible but i wouldn't necessarily keep them till 30 31 weeks as he says no. but normally 27 28 weeks is a reasonable time first 3 to 4 weeks when they are most unstable again the pda you have to be different in your approach and remember that a 22 or 23 weeker might sometimes behave like a standard 24 weeker and for the same way we don't really understand exactly a 24 weeker might behave like a 22 weeker so it's up to your clinical experience and judgment to realize which baby is behaving that way don't be adventurous if you feel the baby will not tolerate an extubation in a 24 weeker don't rush to do it it may be a baby who is actually behaving a little more immature we have all come across such babies even a 33 weeker who behaves like a 25 weeker or 26 weeker absolutely so we cannot uh, the dates exactly are wrong behave. i mean yeah. sometimes the dates are wrong as well right yeah. like i mean we're saying 22 and 5 as if like we know exactly the date that a baby was exactly. you know conceived so yeah absolutely sometimes the dates are wrong and then i just want to also uh you know reiterate that we put babies on whichever breathing support it is and you're giving them like i keep saying over and over again the least possible support that will still allow them to oxygenate and ventilate and you know um a lot of the machines now are also just so high tech so yes they do kind of uh, account for the leak and everything but also you can get so much information by looking at all the graphs and the charts and the numbers on the machine itself and i would love to do a lecture about that at some point but you're not just looking at that you're looking at the baby is the baby working really hard to breathe on whatever support you're on you're probably not giving them what they need mm -hmm. if the baby is still tugging away and retracting and breathing at 100 times a minute then that's probably not the enough support you're looking at the gases as well and you're also looking at the x-rays so we don't want the lungs to be completely collapsed on the x-ray we don't want them to be hyper expanded to like 11 12 ribs or whatever that's probably damaging the lungs if we have the lungs that hyper expanded you're pushing on the lungs you're damaging the alveoli so it's not just you put the baby on the vent and we watch it you're constantly monitoring all these things to try to make sure that the baby is as comfortable as possible as well that's great i mean we covered a lot of things very important points and we touched on extreme premature babies we mentioned why we shouldn't use routine sedation and identify the babies identify when you can extubate the baby so where the baby deserves to stay on the ventilator longer leave them on for a longer time but use non invasive modes or less invasive surfactant as 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 far as possible in the bigger group and don't be dogmatic about one single way uh, you have to yeah. be aware of the different approaches and be open minded about it and uh, don't forget to see the baby as you lastly said about the baby who is really working hard that's what i meant by the delta p difference when there is a very little differential it it's not ventilation it's cpap basically and the baby is struggling exactly. you need more support so